This is the fourth clip on the subject of thirds, and we're going to be looking at another way of simplifying thirds, this time when we're dividing by thirds. Now in this case, uh, root 28 divided by root 7. There's a rule that says we can put them both in the same square root sign. So the square root of 28 divided by 7, which is the square root of 4. And because 4 is a perfect square number, uh, we've just got a, a simple answer, 2. Uh, in general, the rule is that if you've got root a divided by root b, you can write them both in the same uh, square root sign. And you can do it the other way. Sometimes you'll have root a over b, which you'll want to split into two thirds, top and bottom. Now, both those way rounds are rules which you should remember. Uh, it helps us, uh, for instance, when we are uh, finding the square root of a fraction, like this one. What's the square root of 9 sixteenths? Well, we can split it into two square roots, root 9 divided by root 16. Now, they're both uh, square numbers, so they've both got uh, whole number square roots, 3 divided by 4. So, the square root of 9 sixteenths is 3 quarters. What about this one? Well, we split it into two square roots. Now, there's nothing we can do about root 11, but root 49 is, is 7, because 49 is 7 squared. So we've got root uh, 11 divided by 7, uh, which we could write another way. Um, both those last two statements, here and here, would be the correct answer to a question. Just a different way of writing the same thing. Now, we come on to a very important technique called rationalizing the denominator. And this rather fancy phrase simply means getting rid of thirds on the denominator of a fraction, or in other words, on the bottom of a fraction. In other words, making the denominator a whole number or an integer. Let's see this uh, in practice. 2 divided by root 3. Now, we've got a root 3 in the denominator, and this technique says we have to get rid of that. Well, the simple technique of getting rid of square roots is to square them. So, that's what we do effectively. If we multiply top and bottom by root 3, then you should know that if you multiply top and bottom of a fraction by anything, as long as it's the same thing, top and bottom, it's going to be the same fraction. Now that has the effect of making root 3 times root 3 in the denominator. So it becomes 2 root 3 divided by 3. And we have rationalized the denominator. In other words, we've got rid of the, of the root 3 and just left a whole number. Uh, there's another way of writing it. You could just call this 2 thirds times root 3. Uh, both those last two lines, exactly the same thing. Just different ways of writing the same answer. Let's do it again. Once again, we've got a, a, a root 7 in the denominator, which we don't want. We've got to get rid of it. So we get rid of it by squaring. So the number that we have to multiply top and bottom by here is root 7. There we are. 21 times root 7 divided by root 7 times root 7. Well, you should see that the denominator is going to become 7. What about the top? Well, 21 root 7. Now, we haven't quite finished that because 7 goes into 21, and so we can simplify it down to 3 root 7. Let's have a look at a slightly bigger example. We've got root 5 in the, in the denominator. We don't want it. Uh, if we multiply the denominator by root 5, uh, then we can uh, get rid of it, but we have to multiply top and bottom by root 5 in order to do so. So let's do that. Now, what have we got here? We have multiplied top and bottom by root 5. Let's now simplify the top. Root 2 times root 5 is root 10. And the bottom, root 5 times root 5 is simply 5. So 3 times root 10, all over 2 times 5, 3 root 10 over 10. And we have rationalized the denominator. In other words, we've turned the denominator into a whole number.